What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. So this is gonna be a user requested video. I've gotten a ton of questions on this setup so I figured I would just make a comprehensive video and kind of give you the rundown. But before we get started, if you are new here to the channel, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and give us a big thumbs up. So this is the truck and trailer setup right here that I built for Mason about a year and a half ago. So for starters, we have the Kid Trax Dodge Ram 3500. This is a 12 volt truck that you get straight from the factory as is. It is a pretty capable truck, especially with two riders and stuff in the back. It's certainly strong enough to get you around, has a pretty decent battery life with the factory battery. But two of the things that we've done to this truck, we added a gooseneck hitch here in the back and we added the capability for a 20 volt max drill battery to go here in the truck it makes it a heck of a lot stronger a lot faster and it tows exceptionally well so we'll start up here at the truck obviously this is a their dually version it's got rubber strips on both sets of the wheels in the back so that's super good for traction really really happy with this truck right out the box one of the things that we wanted on this truck was to be able to tow a lot better so obviously that would mean more power so what we had to do to accomplish that is we had to cut out the old battery and basically we just um, cut the existing battery leads right here and inserted a 30 amp fuse right into the positive lead and we're able to wire it to this base here. So these bases right here are really widely available. They are only powered one way, so you can't charge the truck like you would used to. You would simply have to take the battery out and connect it to the charging base that comes with the drill. Super, super easy. One of the biggest pain points with a setup this way is finding the right place to mount it. So obviously the way that this seat is set up, it is really, really annoying to have to, you know, screw it on, screw it off every time you want to change the battery out. So we figured the best way to do it was to mount this base right here in the back. Base is four years old. He's able to change out this battery, no problem. And then we don't have to worry about taking the seat on and off. I know you may be thinking, what happens if you blow a fuse? If you blow a fuse, really easy to change out. You can get straight to the battery leads by sticking your hand right under this wheel wheel, changing it out, super, super easy. So as far as run time is concerned, with these batteries here, these are one and a half amp hour batteries. We do have a four amp hour battery as well. So with the one and a half amp hour batteries, we can get about 15 to 20 minutes of continuous use. Now we'll say Mason is not a continuous use driver. He is more of a point A to point B type kid. He will tow his tractor or tow his dirt bike. This is a TTR 50 and this weighs about 125 to 130 pounds. So it does have the capability to tow that, which is really, really cool. That was another reason why we wanted to add one of those batteries. Now we do additionally have a four amp hour battery and you can get over an hour of continuous use on this truck. The only issue there is that you do run into the battery getting pretty hot when it's used continually like that. Now, like I said, Mason doesn't typically drive like that. He's usually, he'll drive somewhere, unload his toy, play around on that for a few, and then he'll load it back up and drive it back. So it's really, really easy for these batteries to last, especially the four amp hour battery, we can get almost a full day of charge out of that. And with the standard Power Wheels batteries, obviously, you know, once you drain those, you've got a good six to eight hour time frame before you can ride it. These lithium ion drill batteries, you can charge these things up in less than like two to three hours full charge. All right, so that brings us to the trailer. So the way we've got this trailer set up is a hitch type system. This is a gooseneck trailer so you got to have a hitch in the back we have got these four bolts right here and they've got nylon nuts on the end underneath of them with a small thin piece of wood underneath so you don't get any bend or anything like that super super sturdy so this hitch right here is actually made for a travel trailer and it is a sway bar hitch it works absolutely perfect found this uh, one and a half inch piece of galvanized pipe and it welds up right to this steel perfectly and super super easy to drill right through and then you've got this hitch pin system that will shoot straight through there and keep the hitch locked down as far as the trailer itself is concerned the body of the trailer itself is five foot in length don't remember exactly how long this was maybe 28 inches i want to say so i mean roughly seven feet in total and it's really awesome it's not too too hard to store super light this is really thin gauge square tubing and was not hard at all to weld up 
took us about an hour and a half of welding and we've only got maybe i don't know 220 250 bucks in this trailer material wise so i mean this is a super super easy project you can do and that goes for everything from all the metal that goes to the expanded sheet the gate the wheels and tires everything 250 bucks max is all we spent on that so that was super super easy like i said it is a fully functional trailer so you can on and off the trailer you can let down the gate mason's four years old and he's been operating this thing since he was about three and a half so but yeah that's about it if you have any questions definitely drop them down in the comments below this is a super super cool toy Mason probably spends anywhere from three to six hours a week on this thing for the last year and a half, and it hasn't given out. This thing's super tough. Trailer's well built. The truck is really well built. And just adding that extra power onto the back really, really makes the unit awesome. Other than that, just want to make this really quick video for you guys. Again, drop any questions you have down in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video. It's starting to warm up a little bit here in North Carolina, so it's about time to get these toys back out. Hopefully, we're going to have some, uh, some warmth coming here soon so we can get out to the track. I know Mason's really been itching to ride his dirt bike out of the track. We haven't been able to do it a lot lately. We've, every chance we've gotten to ride, it's been either super cold or really wet, and it just really hasn't worked out for us. So hopefully once coronavirus is over, we're going to be able to get out to the track. I know Mason is really itching to ride, and the tracks just really haven't been well kept up with. So I guys, to drop us a comment down below and let us know what else you want to see here on the channel. We've got power wheels. We've got RC atvs dirt bikes otherwise thank you so much for watching we appreciate you tuning in don't forget to subscribe to the channel like this video and we will catch you in the next one